Hey everybody, Barry Shoulder here, GourdBanjosByBarry.com. I am uh, showing you a new banjo. This is Banjo 347. This is a short scale Gordy, 23 inch scale. It is tuned just like a regular five string banjo. I sell a set of uh, what I call A scale uh, strings. They're a little harder blend than uh, the standard set I sell. So the, the feel on the strings is a little tighter. Uh, the neck is quilted maple with a gloss finish on it. Kind of got a little recess there in the where the fifth peg is. Kind of interesting. The head, of course, is uh, quilted maple as well off the same piece of wood. The uh, tuning pegs are ebony violin friction tuners. They're very smooth. And again, like I said, I have a set of my custom eight scale strings on here that are a little tighter than if you just put a regular set of banjo strings on there. The nut is made out of reconstituted stone. It's sort of a ruby color and uh, they mix resin and they mix the actual stone together to make sort of like a plastic stone. I don't know how they do that, but it looks really cool. Anyway, that's the nut. The fingerboard, the fretless fingerboard, is rosewood with a Danish oil rubbed on finish. I come down to this end and the gourd is a canteen gourd. It's a flat gourd. It's got some nice markings on it. It's got a two inch, I think it's a two inch, uh, sound hole on the side. And it's got a uh, quilted maple tail piece on there. And it's just a real fun banjo. I've made a few of these short scale or A scale banjos before. And uh, if you got little hands or short arms or things like that, the strings are not as tight as a regular five string. So people that are uh, have a little trouble with maybe arthritis or really pressing down on a string might uh, find this more comfortable. Let me just uh, give you a little sound check here. And uh, I, use a, I use a metal uh, finger pick turned backwards in, uh, because my fingernails aren't uh, big enough to hit the strings correctly. tone sound and last but not least I call this banjo the tick because when I when I got this skin it had this little black dot on it and I tried to scrape it off and it wasn't scraping off so it was something in the skin so I decided why waste a good skin and I made that little dot into a tick so there you have it, the goat had ticks. So that's why we're calling it the goat, or <laughs> we're calling it the tick. So anyway, this is Banjo 347. It's available on my website, www.gourdbanjosbyberry.com. And I appreciate you watching this.